Hi Libra, welcome back to Omkara Taro and to your love bite. Let's see what message wants to show through for my Libra gang today. A warm welcome back to all my subscribers. Welcome in newcomers. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. Oh, starting with the Hermit card. Okay, somebody knows they need to make a choice. Oh, they want to return it seems. Okay. Lots of spying going on, watching, spying. Okay, all right. So, somebody is still holding on to some hope here, uh, uh, Libra, it seems. There is uh, a sense of being feeling lonely, feeling a bad, you know, by themselves, knowing that they have to make a choice. Mm, maybe they did make that choice in the past because of their ego and pride. This chapter could have ended, but somebody does want to return now. They've been spying, they've been watching, they want to fight for this connection. They want to heal this broken heart that's happened, right? So, of course, I'm going to clarify these cards for you, Libra. Let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then we'll do the clarification. Libra and their person spirit. If they could say something to each other, what would that be? And Libra, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Libra and their person spirit. Libra and their person. All right, good to go, Libra. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, If only you knew what I've been through to be at your side. Do you really know the sacrifices I have made? It hurts like hell when you push me away, when all I do is fight for you and our love. I get so annoyed with your constant need to control everything and denial of your triggers. If I upset you, I want you to be honest with me, but you use silence as manipulation to gain control. We should be able to talk it out, like grown-ups. Aren't you tired of overthinking and being so hard on yourself? You can deliver yourself out of pain, fear and frustration and you will see what I've seen in you all along. I'm healing from deep trauma after losing you in the physical world. On reflection, I realized my inability to put myself first let me down. But as you're my mirror, I feel I ultimately let you down. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there for you when you needed me the most. I didn't know how to make myself a priority and in not doing so, I lost the biggest part of me, you. You will always have a special place in my heart nobody else can fill. I love you more than anyone, but I failed to show it. Every thought is you. You occupy my mind. I can't escape you even if I tried. One day I believe we will be together again. I think of you before I sleep. I dream of you all night and I wake up to think of you again. Your love makes me feel untouchable and invincible. You make me stronger, happier and wiser. Your love is the greatest love I've ever known. When you're away from me, I feel loneliness in my heart. I can't stop missing you and loving you. I need you here with me. Loving you is knowing what true love is. There is no logical explanation to my feelings. My heart only responds to yours. You are my endless love. All right, Libra, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading. Uh, of course, with our angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message. Well, commitment, Libra. Maybe somebody wants uh, to have commitment with you. They've made their choice. They're no longer confused, right? But when this card comes out for me personally, uh, I always feel it's time to stay committed to oneself. 
this is like first and foremost commit to yourself before you can commit to another right so let's see what it means in this reading i'm going to start clarifying now so hermit what's the hermit spirit for libra's reading yep somebody has been very lonely very very lonely and sad and confused i think this person wants to come forward now they want to get onto their chariot they want to move forward this person is feeling the lack of hope in their life now maybe because of a choice they never made yeah but they look at that person and they are very attracted they see their person as the queen of wands somebody who's very attractive who's um, full of life and you know passionate and beautiful and turning heads uh, somebody is really really now clear about the choice that they need to make but uh, they don't know how to take action i guess i don't know why is that yeah there's a lot of burden on them there's a lot of burden maybe because in the past they never they, they never made that choice they're suffering from a lot of yeah they feel they're not going to get a second chance now the burden is that they they are scared now to take make a move because they are they feel burdened by the thought that this queen i guess is now stronger it has barriers up and it may not give them a second chance now so six of wands what's the six of wands they see this uh, queen as an empress now somebody who's got a lot of victory in their life who's maybe a public figure maybe a star in their own right sitting very comfortably as an empress and uh, having made a choice uh, which is not maybe in their favor because this person is very very sad now they're very sad they have regret they have sorrow they have guilt uh, because i guess in their pride and ego at one point even though they had an empress in hand they made the wrong choice in the past so what's the world card then spirit what's the world card this person is very depressed that this uh, cycle is coming to a close they feel certain things have been revealed now which has led to an ending a blockage now or a stagnation in this connection uh, this person is going through the dark night of the soul big time very very depressed about the ending which has happened here uh, i i do still feel that they want to return because the eight of cups is right here center of my spread so spirit what's the eight of cups in reverse yep they don't want this connection to end but they don't know how to manifest it back either they are trying to rely on gossip on rumors to figure out whether this um, you know um, the person has i don't know they feel they feel if they feel the person has given up on them they are not even there anymore it's like maybe something was said by the person who's feeling the remorse now in the past something came out in the open now they are ashamed now to look like a loser maybe they were playing the trickster in the past i don't know whoever this person is they want to return and they are keeping a strong watch i think even now spying on this empress because they feel they feel yeah they feel very depressed they're very depressed they're hoping they maybe they're waiting for a message from the empress which i don't think has come but this person is actually feeling rather depressed about some foolish unwise choices they made they could have ghosted the empress they could have cheated on the empress they could have run away from the empress uh, they do want to fight for this connection they do want to send some kind of message to check whether the empress has healed yet or not uh seven of wands seven of wands yes this person wants to have a revival 
they want to have a rebirth of this connection but they're a little afraid because i don't think you guys are communicating with each other they feel the empress probably will not talk to them will have their guard up but uh, whoever this person is who's spying they do want to open up they want to reconcile they want to put in the work they're trying to figure out a way how to heal the broken heart of this empress right so three of swords in reverse for it three of swords in reverse three of swords in reverse they uh, whoever this person is actually has good intentions they not only want to unbreak this empress's heart but they want to have of a commitment i think only thing that they are afraid of is that because of the imbalance that has been created in the past they are worried that they will be rejected now this empress will not accept them or will reject them will not you know if they offer commitment let's say this empress is going to reject them outright because of the way they treated this empress maybe this person was a heartbreaker a promise breaker in the past but they have made up their mind they're not confused of what they want yes they've made that choice that they don't want to be a player they feel they've made okay This person wants to totally come out of their head now but they feel they don't feel strong enough i don't know maybe they were stubborn in the past they feel the queen will not accept their offer they've lost their power they feel like a fool the stress is that they feel that this queen of cups who they love very much has emotionally already walked away and they may not be able to get that ten of cups now what was bottom of my deck spirit yeah four of swords yeah they're fearing the empress is going to hold back now four of pentacles spirit yeah they feel they feel the empress is this is what their fear is they they don't have the courage to even approach this empress right now as much as they want to because the thought in their mind is even if i offer this empress everything now i'm going to get rejected right so they feel this empress has totally given up on them is exhausted tired just give me a second my doorbell just rang <laughs> <laughs> 